Okay, and we're back. Hello and welcome. We're gonna keep on rolling with another uh, major uh, playthrough. Right next up, I think. Oh, I gotta skip through all this stuff. Um. Next up, we're gonna do Karina Dunes, which is uh, uh, Squidward's course, I believe. I'm trying to do these in order, but admittedly have not been uh, around a whole lot the last uh, few weeks, so I, I'm i just kind of guessing at which, what order these were done in, so. <coughs> Sorry. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, it's fine. Yeah, I figure I'm close. If, if I accidentally did the third course we published second, that's, that's okay, we'll get there. We're going to do these roughly in order, but I'm not too fussed if I get them slightly out of order. And let's see if he has any background uh, on this. I'm assuming we're going to get some sand belt or um, uh, cypress, uh, environment is inspired by cypress dunes. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I was going to go guess Terra Edie based on the first T, but um, that's, you know, cypress is a pretty close one to that. About 7,300 yards. Interesting. So this is going to be pretty short in terms of uh, the contest. Default green speeds are 147. They can go up to fast 155. Um, hope you'll... Oh, prefer a higher, very high east wind coming from the ocean. I can go back and set that up. Um, you've never entered a contest before, so all important critical feedback is welcome. Well, I will certainly try. Again, a little, little rusty in that regard, so we'll, we'll see how, how useful my feedback is, but. All right, so let's do, let's do a high east wind. We're, we're going to avoid the very high for now, because I have not played this in ages, and I am garbage. Um, so... I, you know, we want, we want to get the full experience, but I also need to finish at some point, so. We're gonna, we're gonna go easy on myself. I am not a plat player. That's well, not details. It is, uh, I'm not, there we go. I don't, I don't need a pop-up every time that, because my fittings are full, I don't, I don't care. It was east, high, and east. I think I'll leave everything else to fall for now. There you go. What you give him in the 17 minute playthrough. Exactly. Man, I think I clocked in at 22 minutes for petties, so everyone giving me crap about the 15 minute playthroughs are honestly really not uh, far off the mark. Um, but yeah, I mean, first impression is visually this is a stunner already. I love the environment here. The planting is fantastic. Um, yeah, this uh, this should be fun. Again, like naturally, when you're going like this rugged, you kind of have to go a little lighter on the tournament atmosphere, which will be interesting. Again, I left that open ended for the uh, contestants. Again, not so not to like limit anybody's creativity, and also I figured like with the theme of the contest, like hey, like you know, I'm not gonna prevent you from making bad decisions if that's what you want. Um, not that going late on uh, tournament infrastructure is a bad decision. Like, if you can pull it off, I 100% support it. Um, like, in this case, yeah, it still feels like a, a championship course. You know, like, like again, there, there's crowds, there's stands and stuff. It, you know, it feels like you're playing in a tournament. But it's going to be more of like a, you know, an LACC type thing with... Uh, you know, limited patrons and things like that, as opposed to, I'm just trying to think of one where it's like, like a TPC Sawgrass, where the entire thing's built up for, um, uh, like, crowds in mind. But yeah, I'm really digging the visuals on this one. And the golf seems entirely reasonable so far as well. Again, I'm kind of surprised at how how reasonable both courses uh, I've played so far are. Uh, again, neither of them are easy. They 100% like, you know, they're on the mark in terms of making a major course, but um, 
but they're not it's not as silly as I was expecting that being said it is early and also like I'm sure at 7300 yards this one will there, there's definitely going to be the question of is this hard enough for this contest or not I mean again but you know if as long as you know like the scores are you know or it, it's challenging enough like Jives has a hundred percent proved that you know length is not n the necessarily the only factor when it comes to difficulty when you make like fifty seven hundred yard plat courses. But oh, that was a good one. But as you make it a shorter, you know, you have to you have to really be able to get up against that line uh, in order to make it difficult enough. But yeah, I am really digging the atmosphere on this one. This has come out fantastic. I think this is... I've seen pictures of Ben's. And I'm, I will say, I think this is going to be pretty similar in terms of the visuals. So I'm very curious to see how these compare. So far, like, I don't really have anything negative, like, same as Petty's course. I really don't have anything negative to say about the golf so far. This pin is, uh, very tight. But again, it's, it's a shorter course, so you're gonna have to get some sillier pins in order to make it major worthy. I love this spot. I mean, just, again, it's very nitpicky. This bunker visually doesn't quite... Actually, you know what? I don't mind it. It just... I don't know, it presents interestingly to my eye. Like for two courses in and I'm already at the point where I'm having to nitpick individual bunkers to have anything uh, negative to say, then we're, we're, doing, uh, we're doing just fine. This is uh, quite the contest debut. This is a hell of a course so far. He might be doing the rock work better than you, Ben. This is lovely. I don't know. I guess my minor nitpick of, you know, if the bunker is kind of guarding the inside corner, um, kind of where you'd want to hit your shot, I'd love to be able to get, like, a visual indication of it. But like, otherwise, I really don't. I don't dislike this hole at all. And it's not that big of an issue. It just, like, I don't know, noting, like, blind bunkers in, like, spots where you can hit it is something. Yeah, again, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll get to compare them, but... Right now, you know, again, obviously recency bias or whatever. I'm, I'm playing this one now. There we go. We're gonna make up for our awful uh, approaches. That's fair. Again, I'm really... Like, I'm really liking the inland visuals. Makes me want to steal this. Uh, it just looks great. That's a lot of meter. I didn't even know that 13% meter on just bunkers. I didn't even know that you, uh, you know, that was possible. Or is there like planting and stuff in it? Is that why it's so high? Ooh, like again, little, little subtle shots like this are, I think like, what'll stand out in this contest. Like, oh, you know, like, this this green's not so bad until you miss in the wrong spot, and all of a sudden, like, this shot is utterly terrifying. And then you're going to do stuff like that to it. Oh, 
Yeah, we gave it a run. I like this. This is a cool spot. It's a very cool golf hole. Again, where I was talking about how, like, that other sh short par three just didn't quite set up to my eye. This one does. This one's a winner. No planting in 13%. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of cool land movement going on on this course. I think, again, it's early. I've only played one round. But I think in terms of, like, interesting golf, I think I give this one the nod over petties. But I think also, like, while this 100% is a tour course, I don't know if this is necessarily a major course. It feels like it, like this would be, like, this is probably, like, a hard elite or, like, normal plat course. Like, it's an, you know, it's a... Like, very well-constructed course. But, like, I'm not playing great and I'm cruising along at under par. Like, I think, you know, in terms of pure difficulty, I think for a major plat, it's going to be looking for something just, a, you know, a little, a little meaner than this, I say, uh, until <laughs> I get to this pin. Oh, boy, this is it. Uh, I, I like the green. It's certainly interesting, but this is a, a devious little pin. That's such a small landing area, and I'm going to hit such a bad shot into it. Yeah, it's a cool one. Just kind of like, it, uh, you know, in this little saddle. Please stay. All right, all right. But I'm, I am loving the visuals on this. This it, The environment is spectacular. Sight lines are good. Like, it's managed to... Like, again, I liked the golf on Petty's course, but nothing, like... Nothing jumped out to me. And, you know, like, everything was good. Nothing struck me as amazing at first glance. You know, whereas this, like... There's a lot more kind of quirk and and points of interest in it like it's going to be more memorable to me after one round now as part of that the visuals like sure i'm i'm a sucker for visuals and this kind of brings the the pop um hey there we go but yeah no bogey so far and i haven't exactly lit it up so I mean, honestly, I, I get the I get the feeling that this is kind of one of the this is going to be one of those courses where it's like, not the best major course, but just like a really good contest course. Like this would do well in any contest. And and if anything, like again, I like the idea, but part of me would love to see this idea in a just like again in a without the the constraints of it being a major course because it's just just like uh you know the constraints of needing like like essentially to kind of play to a number like to take this idea and just kind of go crazy with it in terms of like you know more quirk more interest as opposed to just like trying to make it hard i love this spot for this hole as well I'm 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 a simple man. You make something look nice, I'm gonna like it, and this makes it look nice. So, ooh, this oh, I did not miss any good spot for this pin. I don't know if I can keep this short enough. Nope, and that's why you don't hit it there. At least for putting. First bogey, maybe. Well, yeah, because I can't putt, but that's okay. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, this looks nice. This is quite narrow. Part five. Do I, uh, do we go for it? I think the answer is yes. Yes, we do. And then we miss. That's okay. Uh, oh well, layup it is. Maybe not into the bunker, but you know, that's fine. I was saying, nobody who ends up playing this course on tour is going to play it as uh, absentmindedly and, uh, uh, you know, aimlessly as I do. You know, a very different experience, I'm sure, to watching an actually skilled player play it. And, you know, maybe pay more attention to their shots. Yeah, that's a fun little bowl pin. But yeah, I I really enjoy the course, but I think also I think like the the strike against this one so far is it kind of feels like an elite course to me so far. Exactly. Hello, Ryan. Hey, we have our first Orion uh, sighting in one of these uh, streams first of many yeah I think I think so uh, you know it's not just me then yep exactly like again it is a lovely course I am very much enjoying playing here but uh yeah maybe not uh you know like uh like, I wouldn't say it would count against it too much, but, like, it, it, I think it's going to be hard to win a major contest with a course that, like, couldn't really, like, host a plat major, you know? It could very well be the best golf course in the contest, but not the best major course. I mean, that being said, it's early for that, but I think, like, it's just really good, like, this would, I think this would be on the short list of best courses in the contest. It's just, you know, eh, maybe, uh, maybe not a major course. It's challenging. It's not easy. I mean, yeah, let, like, let's, you know, it, 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 t it ticks all the boxes for me. I look like it's got all the sand. It's got all the sight lines. Like, again, I'm a simple man. Like, this just looks really nice. I am if I am very much visually enjoying this one. I give everybody a fair shake. Like I'll I'll be honest with what's like what's a technical observation and what's just personal preference, but this you know, like this this ticks the boxes for my personal preferences. Hey, there's a putt. You're enjoying Matt trying to run a different contest. Or just any contest. <laughs> eh, but we've been there. We've we've done that. It's time to let somebody else run the CC. Ooh, I like this I like this look off the tee. This is a fun tee shot. Rip it like all the way over this corner. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Uh, yes, you forgot Reynolds rap. Yeah, it's okay, you know. I, I'm sure my uh, my tenure as a contest organizer was forgettable because, you know, like, <laughs> I, I'm uh, a little bit, you know, maybe uh, not absent-minded, but just kind of a uh, scatterbrained contest host. Not like an absentee, but just not like, uh, not around a lot. Maybe as much as I should be. So why don't we bring in some other folks to help out and nudge me when I'm not doing contest organizer things I should be doing. That's fair. Oh, we're on 18. God. I'm just in a groove and I am not paying attention. 
Yeah, we uh, we closed strong there. Well, we're just gonna be real efficient about our playthroughs, uh, uh, you know, this time around. So there, that one's clocking in at a full twenty minutes. But yeah, I mean, in terms of the golf out there, I really don't have any uh, critiques. Uh, like it, it is a stout course. It's or in terms like it, not necessarily terms of difficulty because I think it's maybe like. Again, this feels like an elite course. It's not easy, but it's not hard. And, um, but in, like, in terms of just the quality, like, this is a, a powerhouse of a course for me. At least at, you know, first glance. Oh, Orion, what did you do to my phone? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, also, thank you to Aerodynamic and, uh, uh, Wonder for following me. I missed those notifications. Um, oh, Ryan, please get off my phone. That's, you're not helping. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I enjoyed the course. Um, like, I, I don't, there's not any, like, holes on it that I thought didn't work. Um, I, like, it really just comes down to, you know, like, I shot 65 and didn't have my stuff. So, I, you know, I think, you know, like, this might not even go on plat. Uh, I, I think it's perfect for Elite, you know. Oh, you couldn't steal it for Elite in time. Yep, exactly. I think, mean, you know, Charlie uh, kind of, too late trees already took it. Oh, so it is going on plat. That's fair. Like, I 100% think it could be used on plat. Like, it's going to play fine. It's just, it's going to be a low-scoring week. And, you know, I don't think you'd be able to use something this easy for a major, is the thing. That being said, I loved the course, and I can't wait to see, uh, you know, if, if this is the, the level that Squidward's designing at these days, then I can't wait to see his next contest course. And I, on, I think it should do well, but yeah, I, don't, I don't, again, I think it's going to be limited at the top in terms of just like missing the mark a little bit in terms of difficulty. But really, you know, obviously, you know, by all the teasing about how much I love the course, uh, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it was a, 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 a joy to play. Yeah, I agree. Squidward has had a great uh, run of courses. Well, yeah. Anyways, I think we'll uh, we'll wrap the stream there, or the the playthrough. Um, I'll I think this will be the last playthrough for today. I'll I'll hop on. I'll do a little bit of streaming for those who want to chat for a bit longer. But I think uh, for those of you who are watching the uh, the playback, uh, we'll we'll cut it here. But thank you for uh, watching and thank you for the course. That was fun. We'll uh, catch you next time.